One thing they don't talk about is gay inmates or homosexual or bisexual inmates, right? <clears throat> so, you know, in America, people sometimes confuse England and America in terms of prison. People are like, oh, what? Are people having sex in jail? I'm like, not that I saw, not that I ever witnessed, but there are, just like in society, yeah, how there are gay people in prison, there are gay people. Some of them obviously don't talk about it, some of them won't want to come out of it. But there's one guy that he he was gay and proud, but he was on job. Apparently he's on job. I don't know. I only met him when I was in HMP Ford. But his his, his name was Fish. Yeah. He, he got like an IPP sentence, but apparently when he was in um one of the other jobs before he came to you, apparently he was on job. He, he, he used to be about his thing. He's an older man, but he's calling himself Fish and he's, he used to have a voice like, yeah, like, like, a proper like, mad voice. But he's cool. Like, no one ever troubled him and he didn't trouble anyone. But I remember there's one issue <laughs> over him and a boyfriend or something like that. I'm not sure when I was in HMP Ford. But people always ask me, oh, were there gay people in jail? And like I said, not that people's openly gay, but him for once and there was one um time this was surreal for me it was actually surreal so we were in um hmp belmarsh right so i've been getting on the the, the officer's nerves i'm saying take me back to thames side take me back to thames side take me back to thames side and they were just like they had enough of me that you know fuck it we're sending you to camp hill so they put me, my cousin, a few other men, they put us and my cellmate as well, <laughs> um, Oscar. They said, right, you man are going to fucking HMP. Um, and I think it's because of me that <laughs> them guys, the guys got stitched up as well. So you guys are going to HMP um, Camp Hill. So Camp Hill is on an Isle of Wight. So that's a mission already. It's mad. You have to cross the, cross the what do you call it, uh, channel or whatever to get over. This. I don't know if it's a channel, but you have, to, you have to go over the river or whatever it is to, to get to the other side, basically. So forget about visits, that's long. But there was three uh, prisons on the island. There was, um, what do you call it? Camp Hill, which was a C-cat. And then there was, um, what do you call it? Parkers, which is a B-cat. And a lot of people went to Parkers as well. And then there's Albany. Now, Albany was sort of a sex offenders, um, what do you call it? A sex offenders, um, what do you call it? Prison, right? So what happened now, though? They've made all of the Isle of Wight prisons come as one. So basically, before you go into um, Camp Hill, they said from now on, you have to go and do in induction in Albany. So we were like pissed. Like, why are you taking us over there for? You mad. But you can't be argued that they're going to force. So we went there. Yeah, so, so we went there. And I think you do the whole introduction thing. We got there in the evening, had our food. And then, like, the next day, they like, exercise. And went to the exercise yard and my mouth kind of dropped. I was like, wow, there's literally mandem, or not mandem, but like people basically in skirts, man, men in skirts and long hairs and wigs, walking, holding hands. I was like, whoa, whoa. So this, is this what's happening in this jail? And apparently, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of jail like where. There's lots of relationships and and things like that. So we were just looking to ourselves and thinking, what's going on? So we just stuck in our own, we just stayed in our own little bubble and didn't interact with anyone. And obviously the officers tell us that, oh, this man's in for that, this man's in for that. And it was just like, what? Nah. So because imagine, yeah, in a normal jail, in a normal jail, yeah, like these people are on a VP wing, on a vulnerable person's wing. So, like, if you're in for any sort of sexual offences or anything like that, if you're gay or something like that as well, they put you on a vulnerable person's wing. So, basically, they don't mix you with the general crowd because you're a target, right? So, now, it was kind of the opposite. Like, where, where in a jail, where it's predominantly them sort of thing. So, it was, it, it was actually surreal. So, like, literally, we was putting in complaints. Like, why, 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 why are you sending us to this jail? They're like, well, this is the process. This is what happens now. Or, or um, what do you call it? All, um, all three jails, you have to interact with everyone regardless of what they're in for and so on. And they try to make a science of things. So we, 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 we refuse and everything. Then they, they sent us to, um, what do you call it? To Camp Hill the next day. And I saw a film like, like rah, it was mad. Like, literally. So I know people always ask, are there gay people in jail? There are. 
but never that you see them but when they took us to that jail they were everywhere and not even just that it was like people were in active relationships and and i think a lot of times people tell me i don't know whether it's true i've never been to um a cat so people are serving long time in jail who are saving life in jail and that a lot of times they form relationships over there as well because they're going to be in jail for 25 30 years and they 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 realize you know what we're here let's do what we need to do sort of thing so each of their own even in um in brixton we was in hmp brixton remember one we got to <laughs> brixton with two of my cousins we've gone into church Went to church and see someone with like long hair and like she had tits. I like, bro, what's going on? But it was a brother, and obviously he must have gone. But he was on he he was on one of the wings. But apparently he used to make a lot of money. He's he's can he's apparently in his cell his canteen was full up. Cause apparently a man then will be going there to get blowies and whatnot. I don't know whether it's true or not, but that's that's what the saying was going on in in um in what you call it in uh, Brixton at the time as well. This is what or twelve I think. Or oh, 12 so there are people some people are undercover some people keep it low some people just keep to themselves and like i said life is life people do what you whatever you want to do it's like, it's like no one judging you and in the end uh when we was in camp hill they wanted to change to make the whole area the whole thing like basically just everyone interacting and because so much people was up against it they had to close down camp hill and send all of us back to london so we all i ended up going to hp high down I think um, my Cody's went elsewhere. I think they went to High Point and other places like that as well. But yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was different times. You know, in um, America prison, that the kind of so overt with it. In a UK prison, it's not so much. So you wouldn't even know how people are, are really moving. But that was just a touch on on that one because people have been asking me, "Oh, is there?" We were like, well, "If there is, there is." But like I said, that other job was a bit mad still. But honestly, what I say let people live if that's the decision people want to take in life that's up to them who are you to judge anyone on on, on on their sexuality or what they're like and so on but at the end of the day yeah in 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 the uk it does happen